Hi, this is Sarah Marks, one of the librarians here at UMass Lowell. This is a brief video that's going to talk about how to do research about a problem statement and find supporting articles. You need to start at the Healthy People 2020 website. This is where you're going to find a sample objective to use. You want to make sure you start with your objective and not try to search and find an objective to fit the topic you want to research. The reason you want to start with your objective is because that's going to help you define the search terms. And for this video, we're going to talk about how to identify the terms and how to search for them. So let's start with my sample. To increase the proportion of schools that do not sell or offer calorically sweetened beverages to students. Step two, after you have this objective, is to identify the key ideas in this. These are the things we're going to search, the words or phrases that will help us find the articles that can be used to support what we make our problem statement. You are not just simply restating the objective. You are going to identify a problem. So search term number one that I've identified is calorically sweetened beverages. It's a very specific phrase used in our objective, but what does it mean? It means any beverage that has sweeteners that add calories to it. So what kind of drinks would those be? Would they be sodas, juices, energy drinks, water, water bottles? These are the types of things that you're going to include in your search once you know all that terminology. The second idea might be students. What does that mean? Are we talking a specific age group or school level? Are we looking at male versus female? Are we looking at a specific type of school, not just a grade level? So elementary school, middle school. Having all of these ideas will help you populate the search string, the terms that you put in those boxes to find exactly what you want. Third, you also want to know if you want quantitative or qualitative research. Qualitative research are stories that we tell. They might be focus groups and panels, interviews. A quantitative set of research are the hard numbers. How many schools currently offer these calorically sweetened beverages? How many do we want to get it down to? That's a quantitative way to measure that change. So very often there might be a mix of both or there might be more quantitative research than qualitative or vice versa. But you want to know what you're looking for as you start your research. To do this assignment, you're going to look at two different databases. First, we're going to look at CINAHL. CINAHL has a demo video for you to watch over on another section of this guide. This is specifically a nursing database. Everything in here is completely focused on nursing. If you're going to search for a phrase like calorically sweetened beverages, you can put quotes around it so that the search engine understands that they, these are not just three individual words. The default is onto the advanced search, which means you have three different boxes to use to combine terms. You'll see the word and at the second and third box. That's going to signify that you use those Boolean terms that we might have talked about in other videos. So we want calorically sweetened beverages and students. Box one, put calorically sweetened beverages. And box two, put students. You can also identify a specific type of article that you're looking for. Systematic review, which means somebody else has reviewed all the literature, gone through it, and drawn some conclusions from what they found. Ethnographic studies, those are more qualitative studies where people watch what's gone on. Or trade publications, which are not scholarly or academic research. They don't go through the peer review process, but they are geared to the population of nurses. They're not just People Magazine or Fitness Magazines. You can identify and limit all of those options within this database. The second database you're going to look at is Ovid. While it has a heavy amount of nursing research in it, it's primarily a health database and some psychology. It's going to look at the humanities of health when it looks at humanities. That's what we've focused on, all of health. What's nice about it is that you'll get the full text of everything we have. So with 
CINAHL, you might have to go to the full text finder and see if we can get you a copy either from another source or that we can order it through interlibrary loan. But with Ovid, everything should be there right in PDF. Again, with phrase searching, you put things in quotes, so calorically sweetened beverages, in my example, still gets quotes around it. If you want those three boxes like CINAHL has, you want to select the option for multi-field search, and you'll get those three boxes again. You can limit to a subset of types of journals, so specifically on nursing, but you can also limit to a, a specific type of article. Now, when they talk about peer review research, they call it original research. And when they talk about systematic reviews, they call it a review article. Those are very different things from CINAHL, and you want to be aware of the language. But you can also limit to things like book reviews or opinion pieces, if that's what you're looking for.